Uh, yeah, Pat Walker, it's starting to get really lively out here now. Talking about the 4th Congressional District covers a big part of the state. Congressman Bruce Westerman, the Republican in this race, joins us now. All right, Congressman, we're getting close to that 730 opening the polls. What's the feeling like right now going into Election Day? It's game day. We've done all the preparation. We're ready to go. We've got all these great supporters here. Just, uh, just a small sampling of what we've got all across the 4th District of Arkansas. For those voters that are walking into the polls there in the 4th District, what is that plea? What is that message you want them to remember when they look at your name on the ballot box? Well, I want them to look at uh, the record. I want them to look at where our country's at, the progress we've made, uh, and what the future will be like. And I think we've got a positive message for that. What are you going to do for the rest of the day? I'm going to go around to a lot of polling places. Uh, i got to vote. I'm going to do that at some point in time. And then we've got a big uh, uh, celebration victory party in Hot Springs tonight. When you see the people behind you, what does it say about your time in Congress? Well, it says that we're doing good things. The country is moving in the right direction, and uh, Arkansas is moving in the right direction. And I'm just uh, blessed to be able to get to represent the great constituents of the 4th District of Arkansas. What separates you from your opponent in this race? Well, I think it's a lot of uh, philosophical issues. Uh, I'm conservative, want smaller government. I want to uh, put more power back to the states. I want to rein in the federal government, and uh, I think uh, the you know, Democrats as a whole want to grow government. They want to see uh, uh, the government controlling more of your life, and I want to see it controlling less of your life. Congressman Bruce Westerman, yeah. 730 tonight. We will find out what's going to happen. We appreciate you stopping by. Uh, the Republican candidate here for Congress in the 4th District, we did reach out to your opponent, Hayden Shamel. She was not able to attend. All right, so Suzanne's got a few more things on the docket right now. Suzanne? I do. So we want to make sure you are ready to go out and vote.